Today in our 2010 Nissan Pathfinder, you're going to be taking a look at, I'm going to show you how to install the Firestone Colorite air helper springs for the rear. Part number F4107. One thing that's really nice about having airbags is uh, when you're hauling, and once these bags are installed, they're going to improve your steering, they're going to reduce your tire wear, and level your headlight beams for a much safer hauling experience. This kit is going to come with individual inflation valves that are going to mount outside the vehicle. They're going to have a minimum air pressure of 5 PSI and a maximum air pressure of 35 PSI per bag. And they're going to have a combined load leveling capacity of 1,000 pounds. However, you never want to exceed the vehicle's weight carrying capacity and these bags after installation will not increase that capacity. So make sure you check your owner's manual. Find out if your vehicle can withstand the amount of weight that you're wanting to carry, and you want to go with that lowest number. First thing we want to do before we start our installation is you want to measure to the inside of your fender well here on the front and the back to get a normal ride height. That's without weight added. The reason is when we add our bag, we won't be able to get our height back up to that normal ride height as close as possible. So we'll go ahead and take a measurement here in the back. We want to go right up the center of the tire from the ground, right to this lower edge here. Here in the back, we're at about 33 and a half. Now we'll go ahead and take one from the front. We're actually right at the same, 33 and a half. So now, once we add our bags, we put our weight in our vehicle that we're towing with or we're hauling, we can air our bags up and try and get as close as possible to that number. The reason we want the normal ride height before any weight is added, so that when we add weight, once our bags are installed, we can air up our bags and get that number as close as possible. Now we've added only about four or 500 pounds to the back of the vehicle. We're gonna go ahead and take another measurement and see what it did. We'll measure it the same way. We've actually dropped our back in about a half inch. Let's go ahead up to the front and take another one up there. And we've actually raised our front end a half inch. What that's gonna do, it's gonna put unnecessary wear and tear on your tires. It's gonna affect your braking. It's gonna affect your steering. When it raises the front, it raises your headlights up. When it raises your headlights up, they're not aiming in the right direction. You may not see the road as well as when they're at the normal ride height. With our airbags installed, same amount of weight, We've added about 30 PSI to each bag. We'll take another measurement here at the back. And we're back up to our normal ride height. Let's go ahead and take one of the front just to be safe. We're gonna have the same measurement, so we're back to our normal ride height. This is gonna eliminate any of that wear and tear on our tires or unnecessary wear and tear on our tires, braking, our headlight beams are back to normal, and our steering's back to normal. So before you start your install on your airbags, you want to remove your both wheels on both sides. Put jack stands under your frame and let your axle hang. What you want to do is you want to spread this spring out as much as possible. Once you have that done, you're going to take your airline tube that comes in your kit and you want to cut about three inches off of it. Kind of like that. Make sure your ends cut pretty uh, well. Insert it in top of the bag like that. If you don't have an airline tube cutter, you can find one on our website uh, using part number F9009. So now what we need to do is we need to get all the air out. So we're gonna start at the end and grab it like this. Just gonna roll it. In your kit, you're gonna get a little plastic cap. Once you get the air out, take that red cap and stick it right in the end of the hose. So right here at the top, you see this one has a hole in it. If you don't have this hole, you may need to drill a hole large enough to fit your airline tube. Since we have that one, we're gonna go ahead and move forward. We're gonna take our airbag and we're gonna slide it inside the spring. Once you get your bag in, and make sure that your airline is facing up again gonna come through the top. We'll pull our cap off. Inflate this bag inside the springs here. Just like that. 
next thing we need to do is we need to get this airline tube out. We're going to take a small wrench. You can see I'm going to use an 8 millimeter. I'm going to push down on this copper ring right here on the top, push it down toward the spring, and we're going to pull up on our tube. Like that. We're going to repeat that same process for the other side. Next, we're going to have a ring like this in our kit. I'm going to slide it over top of our air inlet there, just like that. Next, we're going to take the rest of our airline tube that comes in our kit. We're going to meet the two ends. It's going to come in one piece, and we're going to find the center. Once we find that center, we can go ahead and cut it, cut them in half. It's going to give us even sections for both sides. I'm going to feed it right through here. We're just going to push it right down into our bag and then pull on it to make sure that it's in there. Once you've got your airline tube installed, we're going to route it to the back of the vehicle. We're going to add on our air fittings. I went up, and if you look straight up right here, there's a hole in the side of the frame. I ran my airline tube into that hole and all the way down to the end. I just ran my airline over to the pre-mounted bracket on the hitch. On our passenger side, uh, it is going to be ran the exact same way. The only reason I wanted to show you is our exhaust runs right here. You notice on their line, there's a sleeve. You're going to get two of those in your kit uh, to use wherever needed. It's going to help protect your, uh, your airline tube from heat or anything like that. So make sure you don't forget to put that on before you run that tube through your frame rail. In your kit, you're going to get an air fitting like this. You're going to get four flat washers. Take this nut off, put on one flat washer like that. Put this in the hole here. Put a flat washer on the front side and then replace the nut. 12 millimeter socket. And then we'll repeat that on the other side here. Now we're going to add the maximum amount of air we can, and we're going to check all of our fitting areas for any leaks. Spray the top right there. What we're looking for is we're looking for big bubble, big bubbles. You can see we don't have any there, so we're good. Now we'll check the back of our fitting uh, that we have located on the back of the vehicle. Look good there, then we'll check the front also. That'll do it for a look at an installation on the Firestone Coil Right air helper springs for the rear, part number F4107 on our 2010 Nissan Pathfinder.